So if you bought one of the AMD Raven Ridge APUs and you tried to stick it into a motherboard that had not been flashed to support them, obviously it wouldn't have worked. You'd get a black screen and the correct approach would be to either hopefully you have a board that supports USB flash or find a Ryzen or similar AM4 processor, socket it, flash BIOS, and then put your new Raven Ridge CPU in there. Uh, unfortunately, not everyone has extra CPUs lying around. So AMD came up with a bootkit program, which we've tested by basically going through the warranty process as a customer would. We've done this in the past with system integrators, where it's more or less a GN goes undercover and acts like a customer to see how the warranty and the service program is. So this is a kind of a mini review slash recap of that process. And if you're stuck on what to do with an APU, uh, we can finally give you some direct feedback of what to expect from the boot kit and how to use it. Before that, this video is brought to you by the new CableMod Pro Series. CableMod's new Pro Cables come with pre-installed closed combs for clean builds, accompanied by a revamped color, style, and vibrance. The cables are now using thicker wires, and they've also added right-angled internal USB 3 extension and right-angled SATA data cables. Buy the Pro Series cable kits at the link below, or customize your cable set with the configurator also linked below. The AMD boot kit for the APUs is pretty straightforward. It comes in this box, and what they send out is an APU from last year. It is the A6-9500. It's a 56-ish dollar CPU through US retailers, has an R5 integrated graphics processor on it. Not particularly impressive, but you're not supposed to keep it either. So this goes back to AMD. Their service was actually pretty good. They provide a shipping label and everything, so they make it easy for you, uh, which was, I mean, I wasn't expecting the shipping label. So that was nice. The cooler they technically allow you to keep, there's not a lot of reason to actually use it. It's not very good. But it's kind of neat that they let you keep it, I guess. Honestly, it's probably more of like a freight or a get rid of these things thing than anything. But whatever. You get a cooler out of it. Uh, maybe you can use it on something low end in the future. So uh, that's what we get. The process for getting it is what we're here to talk about mostly. So this would be the customer service process going through customer support like a real consumer and seeing how they treat us versus how media gets treated, for example. And we were honestly pretty impressed. We first reached out to AMD via their bootkit application website on February 17th, and they replied with an automated response that just said, dear customer, your service request has been received and will be processed shortly. And depending on the nature of it, dictates how quickly they get back to us. That was on Saturday the 17th that we emailed them. We got a response from an actual person on the 21st, so Wednesday, and the response was a form letter that said, uh, Dear Stephen, your service request ticket number was received, and they said thank you for your request to loan a boot kit from AMD. Before approving your request, I would like to verify that you've tried to contact your motherboard manufacturer or their local authorized service provider, and they have established that your motherboard requires a BIOS update and we're not able to help you perform that update. Please provide a summary or copy of your communication with the motherboard manufacturer to indicate why support from the original design manufacturer is not suitable. AMD is in a position to be able to loan a boot kit such that you can flash the BIOS yourself. To qualify for this service, AMD will require a picture of your Ryzen with Radeon Vega graphics processor that clearly shows the model number and serial number plus a copy of your purchase invoice. Once we receive this information, we'll be happy to review your claim to establish le legibility. <laughs> that's, not a, that's not me misspeaking. Legibility for a bootkit loan. If you no longer require this service, no response is required. We replied to that pretty quickly and just sent a note that said we spoke with a motherboard manufacturer and that the manufacturer didn't provide any direct support in flashing the BIOS. We didn't say anything about retailer communication. This was me being a dumb customer, basically. So I just said we spoke to someone and they couldn't help us, which wasn't true. But the point was to see, do we have to jump through hoops to prove that we spoke to someone, at which point I'd probably email Asus for Gigabyte and ask them for some help. But uh, so yeah, it's just pretty simple. I said, yes, I talked to them. No, they couldn't help me. What can you do for me? And uh, they asked for a photo of the processor. So I just took the processor, honestly, was in a, a motherboard at the time, was socketed and had a cooler on it. Didn't really feel like unmounting it. So I took another uh, 
APU, another the 2200G, and took a photo of that next to the box for it, where you could clearly see the serial number on the box. I provided them the serial number, uh, the model, all that stuff, sent it over, and they replied pretty quickly as well. Let me get the timeline on that. So we responded on the 21st with the photo and the communication info, and they responded on the 22nd, uh, actually at 4 a.m., so pretty quickly thereafter, and they stated, thank you for the response and providing details to qualify for the service, and they will require a copy of your purchase invoice. Once we receive, we'll be happy to establish your uh, legibility for the boot kit. I can't really knock them too bad for messing up that word twice, I guess. But, uh, so that's all we had to do. Just send them an invoice, basically, from Newegg. So, sent them an invoice from Newegg, and the photos, and we got a boot kit within a couple days. The whole process, start to finish, was uh, from point of contact to receiving the APU in the mail. It was about nine days, and that's considering we contacted on a Saturday, not that bad, so it's about a week. Uh, and it uh, could be up to 10 days or more, depending on how slow your representative is from what we understand. But not bad, honestly. So going into this, you should first know that if you actually end up in this situation, and you have an AM4 board that doesn't support Raven Ridge, first go to the retailer. If you're lucky enough to have the Micro Center or similar near you, they should probably flash it for you. I think they're supposed to. So uh, through AMD guidance, I'm pretty sure that the retailers are supposed to offer some service, hopefully without charging you for it. That's my understanding. If the retailer is no good for that, then uh, the next step, I think is technically supposed to be contacting the motherboard manufacturer, at which point they either cross ship you one or they flash it depending on their warranty policy. That could potentially take longer than getting a boot kit. I don't know what kind of wait times there are for these things. Obviously there wasn't much of one for us and we applied early for it. So uh, honestly, in that position, personally, I'd just get the boot kit straight away because it might be faster than going through a board vendor where you could be waiting a couple weeks. This was nine or 10 days. So yeah, support was pretty good. Uh, as far as using it, if you actually need help with that, it's, I mean, put the CPU in the socket, turn it on, boot to BIOS, download the relevant BIOS from the motherboard manufacturer specifically for that board to a USB key, plug it in, go to their flash utility, and navigate to that BIOS and hit enter. And then that's it. <laughs> Turn it off, replace it with the APU, and you should be good to go. Uh, the CPU goes back to AMD. They actually did provide, like I said, a shipping label. So I was very happy about that. Uh, as far as customer service process goes, considering the situation where you just bought a new CPU, you probably bought a new motherboard, and you can't use either. That's a pretty frustrating experience if, you, if you're not positive why they're not working. You might not know that there's a BIOS flash in. Considering that's the situation, to be able to get uh, something from support that allows you to self-correct the issue within 10 days is certainly not the worst. It'd be nice to be faster, but if you're not near a retailer, it's not going to be. And uh, the process overall, the support representative we worked with was very clear. They communicated well. They had very clear instructions. Uh, when we asked questions of those instructions, they were uh, acted, uh, they were hand-holding basically for a dumb customer. So they do all the things you'd want. So yeah, I was, I was pretty impressed with the warranty process for this. We haven't tested actually like a broken GPU or CPU or anything, but for a boot kit, it worked out pretty well. If this is the route you want to go, we can recommend it. Straightforward and easy. And if you have trouble flashing BIOS, tweet at us because it should be solvable in a couple seconds. So. Uh, yeah, that's it. Not really much there other than saying the bootkit process was, uh, was pleasantly surprising in the support department because we've gone through support a couple times with other things. We've done like undercover support stuff with some SIs and it doesn't always turn out that well. Uh, I guess the best example would be look at our Rockstar Games support coverage from a few years ago. There's a reason that was popular. But that's it for this one. As always, subscribe for more. If you like this type of kind of like GN goes undercover thing, let us know. We'll try and do more of it. I just need to break something first so that I can have a reason to go through a warranty. And subscribe for more. Patreon.com slash GamersNexus helps out directly. Go to store.gamersnexus.net to back order one of our mod mats. They are coming back in stock end of March, early April, and we'll ship them out. I'll see you all next time.